Good morning, folks. We're going to get right to it today and see a solar eruption, large earthquake hitting the watch period, and a big smile for today's news article. But let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star seemed like it was going to be calm once more until about 2300 UTC. That's when the plasma filament incoming on the northeastern limb destabilized and released into the corona. The motion of that magnetic plasma sent particles flying from the corona in a clearing blast of a CME that should be tight and heading far away from our planet. As for what's facing this way, yikes, couldn't even get a C-class flare there, and today the prospects are not fantastic for X-ray events with us about to have a blank Earth-facing disk. Also calm is the solar wind, as yellow speed is dropping out and Earth's magnetic field is doing A-OK -okay this morning. But remember, another stream is incoming and expected by the weekend. The next coronal hole is facing Earth now. Quake watch rose yesterday on it and the planets about to conjoin and oppose the sun. For those tracking this with us, the coronal hole is a southern trans-equatorial extension of the negative interplanetary magnetic fields. We took the start of the uptick as a 6.5 struck off the coast of Indonesia, just astride of one of the two most powerful Earth spots on the globe, developing there, and across the Pacific we are seeing the low-latitude coastal areas of the Americas tick upwards a bit as well. And of course, that's where our other Earth spot is found, expected to hit tropical status within 48 hours. But folks, forget what is building in the tropics. What's already hit Texas is causing an emergency as multiple deaths have been reported. Record river levels keep getting hit, and they are not done yet. It's difficult to see any real relief coming for the area before Saturday night or Sunday, and so we've got a slow-moving disaster continuing to unfold. Folks, today's top article is this. We've been waiting for the next word on what sustains the geodynamo, and it is always worthwhile to know the mainstream core explanations. However, something to note, just take a peek at our logo, the magnetic field. One of the most distinctive aspects is the sign of Xavier Thunder's human touch, an imperfection like the negative red field lines coming together just above the polar zone. Well, let's take a look back at the article and their image. While the field is flipped upside down and left to right, the imperfection of the field lines Pretty darn impossible to mistake. 10 points to the University of Edinburgh. We'll hit Europe and down under with the pressure and radar forecasts and peek in on some shots of our star to close. Just about two weeks left to sign up to attend the Electric Universe Conference either in person or the live stream. I'll be speaking Saturday morning, June 18th. We'll have a video on EU Basics coming here in the next few days. It's 3.30 a.m. in the New Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.